players to just like immediately get ready when ready, when yeah. whenever they see that uh, excited. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the second game of uh, the winners semis going in here. Okay, so it is Springman versus Ninjara. As expected. Start. Frank with the popper though. I would have expected a tribal or a toaster or a roaster potentially off of him there. Yeah. Uh, Riffa going with the standard Triblast Ice Dragon set that he's known so well for. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of like um, makes me think of uh, Twin Five O, who has been using the. Uh, the Ice Dragon on the on Lollapop, and is like one of the few players who actually utilize that arm at all, because it's like such a yeah. rare arm to see any time <laughs> in arms. Uh, it's very, very popular these days, I think, due to the way that Twin sort of had so much success with it and the play style. Oh. I think there's a lot of people that have copied copied yeah. that kind of stalling way of playing. Yeah. But now, Riffer tends to use it very differently. Yeah, and we see kind of well, like one of the kind of uh, challenges with this setup is actually getting that successful rush going. And now Rifa is doing like a lot of damage without the rush, uh, but one of the issues is that, uh, you know, getting that actual confirm with the slow dragon or kind of slow rush of Triblast uh, could be yeah. uh, difficult actually. Uh, but now we see. Using it myself? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now Frank, yeah, he is in the kind of rage mode here or comeback mode of Springman, uh, so he can still get this done, I think. There's still time to bring it back if he lands a couple of decent hits in a rush, especially yeah. if his riff has just missed his, but yeah. he'll have to do something very quick. Yeah, we see it again, like the rush, as we said, uh, it's not really confirming. Riffa doesn't really care though. <laughs> He's uh, like not <laughs> really playing with it, he's just like using it. Uh, Ooh, that could have been... Frank tried to go for the air, confirm, just yeah. missed. That could have been actually really big. I'm not sure if that would have gotten him the round, but uh, it would have been super close at least. Uh, a bit close, yeah. Now, Popper is one of those, both the Boomerang here and the Popper is like such a great arm to rush confirm into because when they get hit by the charged hit, they just like fly up so high. Um, yeah, Popper but, especially. Yeah, definitely. Just it's always in a straight line. The immense speed. Uh, another thing to think about is just like how strong the Tri-Blast is and especially against the deflect characters such as uh, Springman. I think that's like... Uh, at least my worst enemy as a Springman main. I don't know how it is with you. Or Min Min no, Lollipop. yeah, I think a lot of people struggle against that arm unless you're a heavy character. Yeah. The interesting thing with the way Riffa uses it though is that he throws so many uncharged. Yeah. Um, he sort of uses it chipping people down and working the individual bolts through. Yeah. And I say that, he's landed two charged ones, <laughs> three charged ones in a row and <laughs> takes a bit of a health lead in this match. Frank yeah. is like in rage though yeah i was going to say like this uh like the thing is i've been seeing right now i think frank has only landed like one boomerang hit so far uh and like he's been using he's been leading his uh punches with the popper but the dragon arm is just like negating that so well so like yeah. i i don't know like we see riffa here taking the first uh first uh, match here um uh, but i like looking back at this i think that Frank probably is going to look to change at least one arm. Um, I'm not yeah. sure. Um, I think I think if he doesn't switch character, I think that the popper is probably going to come off. Yeah. I, I think th the thing is it with it is 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 he's quite large when it's charged, and Riff is able to stop the thing in in its entirety just by firing an uncharged tri tri blast at it, and yeah. even then get an extra bolt towards Frank that he's got to worry about. Yeah. Um, I use I use Popper and Kraken myself in the past for Ninjaras because they're quite big and you can catch them out of teleport. But that's not really the style that Riffa plays. He's not a sort of overly even if he is gonna jump and teleport, he's throwing out of teleport. So yeah. Yeah. I think we'll see something a bit more solid, probably a medium arm come in maybe to try and level it back up. I I'm I'm thinking that he might do something uh like I don't know. As a Springman myself, I just tend to see see things from my perspective of like being a Springman main, and I just couldn't help but to notice that he wasn't hitting those boomerang hits. Uh, I, it yep. might it may have been just the combination of using the boomerang with the popper. So just you know switching that into a roaster can um, perhaps change things. But one of the things with the boomerangs versus an injara is that the angling of it is really 
hard to actually hit him because the just I don't know it just feels like you're throwing things and it just nothing sticks uh, at an Injara when at least as a Springman right that um, but and it feels that way against Riffer at the best of times anyway yeah without giving yourself a difficult arm to work with yeah exactly and we're going to go into sparring ring here uh, which is um, Obviously, though, Frank's uh, choice here, which I think is a good choice. I think this will kind of limit uh, Riffa's mobility and zoning uh, yep. opportunities here. So, let's see yep, if he can, sure. like, uh, pounce on that. And uh, now, lo looking like he will Sticking continue with that. Setup. Yeah, both of these players. I mean, you know, they don't have to listen to me. <laughs> it's, it's fine. He's obviously, he's obviously got a lot of confidence in the loadout, load yeah. so... Yeah, it could be, as as these players probably know each other more than kind of, uh, you know, what we saw earlier with Bouncy Chickens and Maxo, this uh, this could be like a loadout that Frank has actually prepared uh, specifically for Riffa, because... Uh, yeah, you know, absolutely. I, I think... See Riffa with some arm damage. Yeah. And it's Frank like, with a little bit of a lead. I, th I think we've gotten to that point in arms where we're actually kind of, you know, we know uh, the top players so well that we actually try to beforehand figure out what they're going to do, like what their setups are going to be, and try to counter that before it even happens. Ooh, oh, there we go. Okay, now, now we're talking. Uh, Frank getting Frank a 300 a lead. Yeah, 315, I believe. That was that was actually pretty good. I think that's the first time he hit a rush like that as well. Puts yeah. Riffa in deep red. He's got his own, but I don't think he's going to use it until he gets in range, which he now is in range if he can get it to land. Yeah. Now it's all about not getting impatient here because he's getting, like, chip damage from Riffa. Okay. Okay, he got it. <laughs> Caught the popper on the way in. Yeah. And that's one of the things, like, when you see uh, an opponent that low, it, that can easily spiral out of control where you're just, like, you're just trying to get that final hit and you yeah. just uh, slip up. too hard. Yeah. <laughs> too try hard. Two try man. Been there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Frank managing to not uh, get his shield broken here and responding with a rush of his own again. 320 this time. Um, this is yeah, looking... nice. Yeah, this is looking like this ma this stage pick is working well in his favor, even getting that juggle there in the end. Yeah, it's allowing him to really put some pressure on Riffa, restrict his movement, keep him in a corner. Yeah. Although he's worked his way out here. Yeah, this, I mean, this could be difficult for uh, Frank, though, moving on, because even though he gets this stage, then he has to go to a stage where Riffa is comfortable uh, later on. And I, I do think there are enough stages that, uh, you know, Riffa won't be able to, um, you know, force himself into a cramped stage. But um, True. let's see here if Frank can actually nail this last one here. Oh, no, that's, uh, that that's a nice. huge, yeah, that was a Sick great one. Grab out teleport. Yeah. Oh man, that's that's so dangerous, and it's own it only happens in the Ninjara matchup. Like you can't really, uh, you know, it's really easy to forget that he can do that. <laughs> Just do that, yeah. Ghost inside and grab you. Yeah. Very even here. Riffa yeah. a bit closer to building his rush up, but doesn't need it. No. Oh Clips well. Clips him right on the ankles. Okay, this, um, you know, uh, Frank's got to step up here in this uh, last round. Otherwise, he will be sent down to the loser's bracket. Um, it's all about keeping that patience and actually finding those ways in uh, between those dragon arm shots. Uh, yep. Right now, he's staying on this kind of, um, like, mid-range area. And I'm not sure if that's where he wants to be. Uh, I think he... Like, it's so difficult because Ninjara is strong in the the close range as well so you yeah know. as we saw with that grab out of rush yeah and it, it it i think it just more kind of points at riffa being you know having this really solid setup that he has found himself like it just yeah. it just works <laughs> in plenty of cases it does he's the same set for for anyone it doesn't matter if he's fighting a mechanic or he'll use the same arms yeah okay we see both he rushes going out so here well and uh Riffa actually going on top here. Now, Frank does have that uh, kind of rage mode here that he'll momentarily be in, probably. Uh, so, you know, it's not as strong as with a Max Brass, but uh, it's still it's still uh, up there. Ooh, <laughs> clipped. Oh my god, that was really good. Okay, Riffa taking a 2-0 over Frank here. 
Um, it was a quick, quick end that went south very fast. Yeah, that uh, that double uh, ice chain there into the grab was that was that was yeah. some good stuff. Yeah, it was nice.